I applied for social security disability and SSI benefits, but I got denied. I heard a lawyer can help get me approved, but I don't have the money for that. It doesn't cost you anything up front to hire me, so you can keep your money in your pocket. It didn't cost any money up front to hire Dr. Bill. My money stayed in my pocket. And now my checks are coming in every month. I'm Dr. Bill Latour. I'm both a psychologist and a lawyer. Call me. I know what to do to get you approved. Call 1-800-803-5090. is KCAL News, Los Angeles. Welcome to KCAL News at 11 and on CBS Los Angeles and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. I'm Christine Lazar. A developing story in the San Fernando Valley. Two people are dead after two separate shootings in North Hollywood. One killed by police. KCAL News reporter Jasmine Veal, she's live near Victory and Laurel Canyon Boulevards. Jasmine, a lot of moving parts this morning. Yeah, definitely, Christina. We just heard from detectives about uh, what they believe happened out here. So this is a, a shopping center right behind me. It is full of restaurants, a Target, a CVS. And as you said, we know that two men are dead, the suspect and uh, the other a victim who police say was a man shot and killed in his car by the suspect at this shopping center. Uh, police say officers in shot and killed that armed suspect inside of that parking structure that you see there on St. Clair. I mean, this is a big crime scene. And again, expect these streets around here to be closed for hours more. So this started North Hollywood officers. They got that call about an assault with a deadly weapon here on Victory Boulevard near the target around five this morning. When officers arrived, they say a man armed with that gun pointed it at those officers while they were still in their vehicle. And according to Detective Megan Aguilar, those officers then fired at the suspect who took off running north on Bellingham. They put out a call for help. Uh, those officers, they say, who arrived at the scene here then encountered the same suspect in that large parking structure in this shopping center. Shots fired again. The suspect ran back into the parking garage. A third officer involved shooting happened. The suspect was hit and killed by gunfire. Police say they also found a gun near him. Here's Detective Megan Aguilar. Investigators do have a variety of casings from firearms. So they're looking at the possibility that this suspect also shot at officers, not just pointing the gun. They have reviewed body-worn video where it is clear that the suspect does point his firearm at the police vehicle. That is right prior to the first shooting. What we're trying to establish, and they'll be working to find out, is if he fired any rounds at the officers during this quick but you know, lengthy foot pursuit. So looking into that possibility that this was a shootout between the suspect and those officers, and it was after those officer involved shootings that police then found that man who had been shot and killed in a car parked behind these uh, businesses. Uh, no word on a motive or the relationship uh, between the suspect and that victim. Uh, they do have a Valley Homicide Bureau out here investigating that homicide. They have the uh, Force Investigation Division handling these three officer involved shootings, and we're still waiting to identify. Uh, Christine, both the suspect and the victim. I'll send it back to you. Sounds like it's going to be a long day for police. Thank you, Jasmine. Former President Donald Trump will be back on the campaign trail this week after what the FBI says appeared to be a second assassination attempt. A gunman arrested near Trump's West Palm Beach golf course on Sunday. As KCAL's Christian Benavides shows us, that person made his first court appearance this morning. 58-year-old Ryan Wesley Ruth appeared in a Florida courtroom this morning on two charges related to firearm possession. He was arrested 50 miles away from former President Donald Trump's West Palm Beach golf course Sunday after the Secret Service spotted the muzzle of an AK-47 peeking out through the shrubbery and pointed at the former president. The Secret Service did exactly what they should have done. Authorities say the incident took place near the 5th and 6th holes, with Trump just 300 to 500 yards away. The agent fired off four to six rounds, and the suspect then took off in a car. Officials say he left behind a rifle, a scope, and two backpacks. The threat level is high. We live in danger times. Former Deputy Director of the U.S. Secret Service and CBS News Consultant A.T. Smith. This area where the individual was is sometimes used by the press to try to get a shot or a photograph of um, the former president when he's playing. Officials say the level of security was consistent with that of a former, not sitting president, CBS News.